Welcome back to another episode of I try and push through all these nerd players on ladder right now that are using firecracker um, and RG. We'll see how this episode goes. Hopefully I don't tilt 500 trophies. I did just get on. Um, been pretty busy so hopefully we can actually get some good games to start the day and i don't have to push for like 15 hours straight and uh want to die after so he's gonna go for the drill wall breakers other lane to first play i mean yeah pretty solid first play has no idea what i'm running but he's just gonna drop drill wall breakers at the bridge you know because it just works um sometimes i wish i just had like a scar me or something to counter all that all right he's gonna go goblins just so i can't activate the king tower with that ghost which is fine um i'm not really too worried about this i could just go expo with this um i think i'm going to just to um like see what he has all right he's gonna go for the inferno tower which is fine with me because that means he's playing like this just this control deck with no big spell um, most likely so this is going to be a pretty eh, I, mean, I wouldn't say great matchup but like a solid matchup for me as long as i play correctly and don't get overwhelmed by his bridge spam then i think we'll be all right so gonna go ice Wiz in the back dude holy crap um i guess i'll just kind of let that wall breaker go on the left and then tesla on top of that bandit kind of an awkward defense right there i didn't have my knight in cycle um like realist or like if I had a choice of what I had in the cycle right there, I would just would have went knight on top of that bandit and then exploded with the knight after the wall breakers already connected to my tower. But yeah, he did a decent job of pushing when I didn't have much in cycle. If he goes firecracker the bridge, I'm just gonna have to tornado that in. Um which of course he's gonna do, why wouldn't he? So we could go expo right here, but I think I need to be patient and try and get the one big lock on if I wanna win this game because it's not gonna be worth trying to get like little chip damage here and there. I'm gonna have to go for just the complete expo lock, like a full health expo on his tower is my only way of uh, winning this. So I'm just gonna go skellies. Please don't firecracker again, dude. I'd actually just be annoyed. Okay, we're gonna go Tesla just to tank for that ice whiz and then log. I don't think I need to do anything on this right side. Yeah, he's still gonna firecracker. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm actually gonna tank a little bit of damage and then just nato the, everything back. So the firecracker finally dies and doesn't get any more damage on my tower, but we are down 1000. So hear me out. I think we're actually gonna win this as long as I don't mess up. I'm gonna go knight on top of the drill. Hopefully go evolve skellies on top of the bandit and the wall breakers please take them both out nope okay didn't do anything um tesla at the bridge to predict the firecracker okay that's pretty clutch i can go with an expo now to start pressuring him how is it still <laughs> oh my gosh okay i know he's pretty low on elixir though so we can just make sure that i'm pressuring he's really really low now with bad wall breakers we get the expo connection on tower but i need to be careful um, that he doesn't get a firecracker lined up there. He's going to try for it. I'll Tesla on zero, but I don't think we're going to be able to kill it in time. Yeah, it is unfortunately going to splash on my expo. We still we still do get a ton of damage. Um, so nothing to complain about. We'll just go for the knight down low. And he's going for another drill, obviously. He's probably going to try and prediction NATO. So I'm going to NATO. Yeah, this guy's very, very obvious. We also get the king tower activation with that tornado. So kind of a double um, purpose right there. So I'm just going to go for the defensive bow once again um yeah i don't know i've played so many firecracker players that i can pretty much tell you exactly what's about to happen uh, i'm gonna go tesla at the bridge just to cycle get the knight down immediately to make sure that ghost stays above ground um or whatever you call it, it doesn't what is what is where does it go like when it goes invisible um i don't know i guess it's just invisible so <laughs> he's gonna nato cycle my tower not really too sure about that one i'm just gonna rocket cycle his that actually might hit the firecracker yeah that's really really nice um and then we can just go Skelly's split in the middle here. All three towers going to take out that ghost and pretty much nothing this guy can do at this point, which is a very, very satisfying feeling when you just dominate them the entire game. Um, I'm going to go Knight on top of the drill and then just go for the log. Um, we're going to predict the bridge for the firecracker because he just loves to do it. And there it is. He's going to NATO as well. Oh my gosh, this guy is actually just getting rolled. Um, I feel a little bit bad, but like at the same time, he's playing firecracker, so I'm beaming him. And we're going to rocket his king tower. Uh, be that guy. You know what? I don't care anymore. I'm turning into a menace because I'm tired of this card and I'm tired of these players getting high up when they're not good um, because they're using it. So I'm going to go skellies on top of that and log. He might NATO this altogether. No, he's going to... What in the world? This guy... Okay, we're going to rocket his king again because I'm just that confident that we can defend this guy. Um, really not worried about anything he can do. So I'll just go for yet another defensive bow. Um, we'll go Tesla low this time just so his firecracker doesn't line up on it. And we'll just go ahead and log all of this. And wow, really, really great firecracker by him. Um, okay, Ghost is going to get one swing on my tower. Oh well, we're just going to rock it to finish it off. Um, or not finish it off, but pretty much end the game. Nothing he can do at this point is going to change anything. It's going to nato my knight. Really well played right there. We're going to go Ice Wiz a pie. Okay, get away from me. 
I'm tired of that firecracker. Ice Wizard is gonna finish it off because it's just better than the, than the firecracker. I mean, Ice Wizard is just so much better for three elixir. You should, everyone that's using firecracker should totally make the switch right now because the card's just overpowered. Um, but yeah, this guy's getting BM'd and he's getting the yawn because he's playing the most broken card in the game. Got a match here against Nate. So probably playing Miner Cycle. Not sure which variation though. Um, usually he's pretty aggressive off the bat. So I'm surprised that he's waiting. I'm just gonna cycle my log. He's going to do the same, and I guess I'll just go for the knight in the back. Maybe he's playing a different deck, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, there's the ice spirit. I don't want to take any free damage, especially not um, if he's playing minor cycle. you got to pretty much try and prevent as much damage as possible. Yeah, there's the inferno. So could be the rocket version. I'm going to go skellies just to tank for my knight for a second here. Um, it might not. I mean, it might have pushed it to tower. I'm actually not really sure about that interaction, but I'm just going to set up a Tesla. If he goes for the minor, yeah, he's going to. Um, we can just tornado it back up onto my Tesla, and yeah, not bad. Should take that out without any damage on my Tesla, and then I can just go for the Expo as soon as this Infernal Tower is about to die. Force out something from him. Um, assuming he's going to rocket this. Okay, no, he's going to go for an Inferno. Very, very aggressive. Like, oh, he's got poison. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I'm actually going to go Knight Skelly's other lane, because now he can't play the log on the left lane, or he's dead on the right. So, kind of a... Um, just forced him dry on elixir right there the inferno tower is a very very expensive defense especially in single and i think he wants to like, preferably he would like to not use that if he had a choice um in single on defense but we forced it out of him right there so good good little split lane push to give me the early advantage here um and i think he's probably playing archer queen if he's playing a poison because what else would he have for dps right it wouldn't really make sense to have anything else so i'm just gonna cycle the log at the bridge um guess he's not playing any evolutions either so respect okay nice we predict the ice wizard but he does get the okay he's got the evolved skellies but that does not count guys that is not an evolution in my opinion um like anyone that plays that is not getting roasted so we're gonna go knight on top of his miner we catch it there okay there's the inferno i think i'm just gonna take the rocket on tower even though I, I don't like doing this, and here's why, is because he can cycle his minor poisons like crazy now. Yeah, he's just literally just going to poison my tower. I'm going to go defensive bow first here, and then maybe try and work back into another expo on the right side if he poisons again on the left. Um, I'm just going to cycle my log early, see what he wants to do. I'll get the knight down as well, and okay, he's not going to minor on the safe spot this time. I probably should have predicted that but it's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and tornado this queen back off my expo. And then he's not going to pop the ability. I don't know why. I'm going to go Evo Skelly first, then go for the expo. Um, he logs on the left side. Very interesting. Okay. There's the Inferno. We can just log to kill his Evo Skellies, and I think we win the game. Uh, maybe not win, but the knight on the left side as well is going to get one shot. Now, we're not going to get too, too much damage, which is still okay. Um, we do catch the Miner this time with the Skellies, which is clutch. We can go for the Expo on offense once again. Basically, I just need to keep pressuring on the right side and not allow him to spam Miner Poisons on my tower. Um, okay, another good Inferno by him. Hmm, okay, he's going to Poison this time, which is good for me. I'm actually going to NATO trying to catch something. Um, we do catch the Inferno Tower and catch him off guard a little bit there, but he's still... Uh, I don't know. He's still in this game. So I think I just need to keep expoing on zero on the right side. I know it seems low skill, like brain dead, but that's what you have to do in this matchup if because you cannot allow them to like control the game and, and the pace. Um, I'm going to go Ice Wish just in case he goes for the Archer Queen, which it looks like he's not going to do. I don't know what he's going to do here because he doesn't have much in cycle. I'll just go for the Knight in the back. Okay, I thought he was going to minor him on top of my expo. That's why I did that. Um, he's got another Inferno. Wow, that is actually impressive. Um, okay, let's see. I think the play is just to keep stacking Teslas at the river and then exploring as soon as I can. He's going to go queen this time. I'm going to wait for this all to die. And then, oh my gosh, no, please don't pop the ability. No, oh my gosh, okay. I thought the <laughs> Tesla was going to get one more shot on top of the Archer Queen right there. That was really, really bad. Um, but we're still okay as long as we can... Uh, I think we're just going to try and have to go for the Rocket Cycle now. Dang, that was a really, really bad, like interaction for me we're gonna go for rocket number one now ice was in the back to catch the miner hopefully um we're just gonna log and then evo skellies up high to make sure that he doesn't um like get the queen on my tower so i'm gonna go knight man he's playing the miner in the back every single time i should probably predict it there but i oh my gosh is that another poison okay i think we're fine though i just need to cycle one more card and yeah we're fine but holy crap he got so much damage in like a matter of 20 seconds that's the power of minor control i guess but definitely actually a fun game for once because there was actually no evoluted uh, evolution cards and uh yeah that was enjoyable so ggs got the next match against 40k navid 
So there's the Spear Goblin's first play. We'll just go ahead and Knight on top of those. Um, Spear Goblin's probably either means Mega Knight Bait or Mortar. So he's got the Cannon Cart. Okay, we'll go for the Ice Fizz in the back here. If he mortars the bridge with this Cannon Cart, we can just rock it. But it looks like he's not going to. Um, okay, he is, but it's... Uh, I could have still rocketed, but it's kind of too late in my opinion. I'm just going to let this play out. He logs as well. Super aggressive play from him to start off this game. I don't know about that. I'm actually just going to expo because I think we're up a decent bit of elixir. And he doesn't have his best counter to my expo. Like, either of his best counters because his two best counters are my... Or, like, his candy card and his mortar. And he played both of those on offense to start the game. So he does have the minion horde. All right. That's fine. We can just go ahead and tornado this back. I know that it's not going to die, obviously, but it'll just give my expo a little bit more time to chip down his tower. Really bad gang as well, because I have log and cycle. And yeah, pretty much a perfect start to this game. He overcommitted way too much on offense. Um, and this matchup is really, really hard as long as... Like, if, as long as they don't lose their whole tower in single, they should be able to win this, since they have Cannon Carts, Miner, um, and Mortar Evolution, which is pretty broken. So, I think we just need to try and play Hardcore Defense, and then go for the Rockets at the end, because I doubt we're going to get another Expo on Tower. I am just going to... Nah. Should I go? Yeah, I'm just going to Tesla the bridge. Um, if he predicts it, it's fine, because I can react. But, okay, he is going to go Cannon Cart, but it's after the Tesla already locked on nice so okay ice Wiz is absolutely doing nothing to that cannon card we're gonna have to tank those spear goblins on the right side um okay let's see what he wants to do he is gonna go for the miner i had a feeling he'd do that i can just natal log to kill this cannon card which is a lot of elixir to spend but i need to make sure that does not connect to my tower um okay we'll go skellies first and then ice wizard on top of this gang if he minion hordes on the left, which he is going to do, we can just Tesla to take out all of those. Um, there's the Evo Mortar. Okay, that's not good. I'm just going to get the Knight down early here and then log the Spear Goblins. If he goes for the... Hmm, what do I do here? I think I go Defensive Bow because I need to just make sure that Mortar is not locked in my tower at all costs. Um, okay, so this is kind of awkward i'm not gonna lie i hate when it's just like spawning goblins and i don't really know what to do i'm actually just going to go ahead and tesla up high no way that gets another shot i will quit <gasps> bro okay it's fine um and the goblin gets two swings on my tower all right that card needs a nerf we're gonna go expo <laughs> on defense once again and then go for the log to take out those spear goblins finally we can take out his stupid mortar and he does have fireball um yeah like i thought he did so i'm just gonna nato all this back this is kind of just an awkward situation to be in honestly um if he goes minion horde i'm gonna have to try why does he keep doing that okay we'll go knight first i guess um and then we can go ahead and ice was on this right side go for the tesla up high oh crap okay i need to make sure i kite these minions over to the middle and please don't go to my tower i will cry all right we're good um knight's gonna take out that miner he is getting a decent bit of chip though but I, I don't know what I need to do. I think I need to just kind of play lighter defense on the right side. Um, oh, wow. This is not good. Okay, we'll log that back. And I think we're okay. I need to get Ice Boost down. Okay, this is actually kind of getting scary. I'll Tesla on zero here. Please don't predict me. I will cry. No, we're good. Um, yeah, we're fine. Okay, he's going to get the second Goblin Shot, but it doesn't really change much there. Okay, dude. <laughs> I'm actually... Oh, my gosh. This guy is so annoying with his split lane just spam at the river what in the world okay um we'll go for the ice boost to take out these spear goblins and tesla immediately on top of the mortar bro just let it go holy crap okay we're gonna knight on top of this cannon cart once again he's probably already back to a second cannon cart that's how fast this guy's cycling right now uh we'll go for the expo on defense out of fireball range obviously and okay really really bad mortar i want to say because now i can just get so much value from the skeletons right here and they all get one tap by the mortar let's go if he fireballs this oh i actually win the game what am i doing i just need to rocket cycle twice um and look at the setup we have there's literally nothing he can do um log yeah i think he should probably just realize at this point there's nothing he could do i didn't even realize we got his tower down that low but i guess we have just been log chipping him the entire match um honestly played very very solid in this video and beat some tough matchups so if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and we'll see y'all in the next one peace